It seems like everyone and their mother has made some sort of video on how to tag graffiti or how to get better at wild style graffiti, and unfortunately the sad reality is some of those sources are better than others. And because I'm a strong believer that no matter how much you think you know about graffiti, you should always be looking to improve and learn more, and because I want to help all of you today, no matter your skill level in graffiti currently, improve more at graffiti, we're going to be talking about the top five ways you can actually learn graffiti today. Now these top five ways have been the top five ways that I personally, throughout my 12 plus years in graffiti at this point, have used to learn more and more about graffiti at different times in the game. And the best part about these five ways of learning graffiti is that they range from ones that can be used by the most beginner graffiti artists, and some of them are all the way up to very advanced general techniques you can use to learn more about graffiti. So I'm going to try and attach a rating out of five for how advanced a graffiti artist should be to get the most out of each of these ways that we're talking about. So let's get right into it. Number five. The number five way of learning graffiti is one of the most underrated and yet totally solid ways of actually learning graffiti. And it's one that I talked about in the most recent episode of our graffiti freight watching series. And that way is simply looking at graffiti in person. Just simply taking the time to look at the tags, the throws, the pieces, merch available below the description by the way, is a great way to learn the techniques and artistic concepts that are fundamental to making great graffiti. And I go into this in a lot more detail in that video that is linked, but the best way to learn from looking at graffiti is simply to look at it with the mind frame of how can I learn from this piece or throw or tag or whatever it may be. Look at it with the mind frame of how can I learn from this? Why does this look good to me? What has this graph writer done to make this piece look good? Now, I should mention that this method of learning artistic concepts and that kind of thing is going to be the most beneficial for the newest graffiti writers out there, but I still strongly maintain that every time I go out to the yard to look at some pieces or, you know, just to a free wall or wherever, I learn something new every single time. And that goes for every single time we go out and take a look at the free together in our freight watching series on the channel too. The only thing is, although I recommend this most for the newest of graph writers out there, those graph writers are the same ones that I do want to caution and say that there is a big difference between learning from a piece of graffiti and biting, right? You don't want to be biting. You want to be learning to create, not learning to copy. Big difference there, people. Number four, tutorials. Now, tutorials are a bit of a mixed bag because you get a lot of people making them, including me on occasion, and you don't get a lot of people who should actually be making them. It's the problem here. In short, tutorials and stuff that you can find for free with easy access can be a great tool, but they also lead to a lot of opportunity for misinformation, which I'm not a fan of, obviously. One thing this method of learning graffiti does have going for it is that you can do it from the comfort of your own home whenever you want. You can explore, relax, learn about whatever concepts you want right then and there. Speaking of learning graffiti skills, this is probably a good time to tell you guys that this video today has been generously sponsored by Skillshare. If you don't know, Skillshare is basically a massive online learning hub where you can pretty much learn any skill that you could possibly want to. And if you're looking to level up your artistic knowledge like I'm always looking to do, Skillshare has a class on every single artistic concept under the sun you could possibly want to learn about. If you want to get better at Photoshop but graffiti specifically, they have that. If you're like me and you're interested in exploring character drawing to level up your graffiti pieces, they have that. A personal interest of mine that you guys probably didn't know about is that I dabble in the stock market 
pretty obsessively. <laughs> and if you happen to as well, I would highly recommend you check out Zach Hartley's Stock Market Fundamentals class after you join for a free month of Skillshare using my exclusive link in the description. It's free for the first 1,000 people to check out. It'll give you a free month of Skillshare where you can learn and explore whatever you want on the platform. But anyway, back to the list. Number three, the third top way to learn graffiti is talking to local graph heads at your local free walls or graph festivals. This way of picking up knowledge is usually best if you're at least at a high enough level that you can ask intelligent questions about graffiti. Asking actual intelligent questions sort of establishes your credibility a little bit and it does make it more likely that other graph writers are going to want to actually talk to you. Obviously, you're going to want to use your sort of social judgment as to when it's going to be an appropriate time to strike up a conversation with another graph writer. But if you do find yourself having a conversation with other graffiti writers, that's often a rare and invaluable opportunity to even inadvertently learn about what they're thinking as they go through the process of a piece or just pick up little tidbits of knowledge that can propel your own work ahead if you keep those in mind. You never know what you're gonna learn by getting to hear about someone else's thought process. Just to give you an idea of how this works, in my area there is a local free wall where a lot of writers go to do their pieces and whatnot and it's pretty social setting. Most times if you see another writer there you'll say hi and that's sort of aided by the fact that it's sort of in the middle of like a dog park so you'll get a lot of normal people walking through there that say to hell with graffiti etiquette because they don't know what that is and they'll ask a lot of questions. So in short, it's a pretty social environment and most people in that setting are certainly happy enough to have a bit of a conversation with you. Not all spots are going to be like that, but the more naturally social the setting is, the more likely it is that other graph writers and you might get into a conversation, obviously. Just don't be annoying. Like if someone's trying to paint their piece, freaking just let them do that. You know, there's nothing worse than you trying to paint a piece and there's like someone looking over your shoulder and saying like, hey, hey. I would just make sure that if you're a graffiti writer that's anything less than an intermediate level, you don't overuse this resource because it could come across as annoying. In short, just use good social judgment, people. That shouldn't be too hard, I hope. Number two, the number two way of learning graffiti is one of the very best ways of learning the craft in a lot of cases. And that is being mentored by a seasoned graffiti artist that really knows their stuff. If you're lucky enough to establish a good relationship with a top class graffiti artist who is willing to basically give you advice on a fairly regular basis, then that is great news for you, my friend. Now that doesn't happen overnight. And because of that and one other factor, I'm going to mention, I'm going to say you should at least be a three out of five sort of in the skill range for this to be a way you should learn more about graffiti. Firstly, by the time you actually establish a real relationship with other graph writers, you're probably going to have been in the game long enough that your skills will level up to that sort of three out of five intermediate range. And the second reason I'm saying that you should be an intermediate writer is usually a mentor is going to want to see before they start mentoring you seriously that you already have the ability to learn. Now, any mentor who has mastered the craft of graffiti is going to be a fountain of knowledge for you. And the only caution I have with this way to improve your graffiti is make sure you're looking to the right people to be the ones to mentor you. Without mentioning any names, I do have to say anyone who is talking on YouTube specifically or online in general about how they've mentored this person and that person or anyone who is eager to get into mentoring is probably going to be the wrong person to look to for graffiti advice. In my personal opinion, the graffiti writers with the least amount of ego are often the best people you can possibly learn from in a lot of different respects. And that's a rare thing, getting a graph writer without the ego, you know? It's unfortunate. Number one, not everyone has a well-established graffiti community in their area, and I totally get that. 
The town I grew up in was super small, had next to no graffiti scene at all in it. But luckily, what I consider to be the very best way to learn and improve at graffiti is one that you just don't need anyone else for, or a graph scene of any kind, really. And this method of improving and learning graffiti should be obvious, but I get so many messages from people saying, hey, how's this piece? And then they'll send me another one two days later and be like, hey, is this better? That it obviously isn't obvious, but that way is just practice. Practice graffiti, guys. And so many of those graffiti tutorial channels out there will never tell you that that is the case, or they'll only tell you it if they're trying to be edgy or something for a video title. But you do have to just practice and put the hours in a lot of times. And they won't tell you that because it's a lot more desirable to hear if you just do this one little trick, you're gonna be better at graffiti. But that just ain't the case, guys. It ain't, it never will be, never was. But in reality, what do all the best graffiti writers and artists all have in common? Yes, it's that they all spend an inhuman number of hours practicing and refining the craft, the art of graffiti. I confirmed this when I was lucky enough a couple years ago to do an interview with Smo Nova. You can check that video out. And off camera after the interview, I asked him, how many hours a day do you actually spend drawing or painting or whatever? And the answer he gave me was pretty much that on a day basis for several hours he is busy creating and that makes perfect sense when you're that good it's not because you spend all day doing nothing and the best part about this method is that no matter how good you are this way of improving will still give you payoff consistently over time because it's sort of like in this way you're just competing against yourself if any of you would like to please feel free to share down in the comments the things that you do that help you improve the most at graffiti the more knowledge we can share within our little graffiti community here on the channel, the better off we all are. And if you do want to engage right now in the first way of learning and improving your graffiti that I talked about in this video, then check out the latest uh, graffiti freight watching video where you take a look at some of the best work on those freight lines for you. That's what is on screen for you to check out right now. I hope to see you over there soon. Until then, peace.